We have to be here, it's quarter to eight. In about f 10 minutes from CERN, there's gonna be a press co conference, actually a seminar first. The belief is, the feeling is that they're going to announce uh, the discovery of a new particle. Yeah, maybe the Higgs. I haven't heard that uh, the evidence that was presented back in December has disappeared. Um, so, but it's still officially a secret. Yeah, so Higgs, Higgs will, should be there. He, he's, uh, he's one of those that have been invited and yeah, I think he'll be there. He's in his 80s now. But uh, all this work was done uh, in around 1964. So it's going on for 50 years ago. It's a long time, 48 years ago, this work was published. So they've been waiting a long time. We've all been waiting a long time uh, for maybe this uh, today. Uh, it's wearing away. I wonder how many thousands of people are. Ah. I'm a bit nervous about this bit, Brady, <laughs> because in December, these were really technical seminars. Um, and in fact, it, it was quite difficult to pick out where they were saying, look, this is, this is potential evidence. But on this occasion, you know, given the worldwide publicity, they must at some stage say, we think we found something new. They must, unless they haven't. There he is, that's Peter Hicks. Yeah. I was at a summer school in 1985 in Edinburgh, and um, someone on, uh, on the blackboard, as Peter Hicks came into a meeting, they'd drawn a picture, and they'd put an image of Peter Hicks's face, and they'd put a Superman cape, but they'd call it SH, Super Hicks. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> So I think what they will have is two seminars. Uh, one by, the, there are two main uh, detectors which are, which are built to discover the Higgs. Uh, one's called Atlas, and of course, one's called CMS, as we know. Um, you went in them, didn't you? Yeah. certainly did, yes. <laughs> like a schoolboy in a candy shop, a number of people commented. <gasps> wow! <laughs> That's <Hey>. what you <laughs> 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 This is it, it's the detector. So the spokesperson for CMS is going to give a seminar. I think it'll be about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And he'll review the data that they've got. Looked at it another way, you can ask what's the uh, discovery potential. Now the probability that the background would fluctuate up to a given signal, the size of the standard model. Can you explain to me the difference between a Higgs field and a Higgs boson? Yeah, the Higgs field is... is uh, a, a field is just something that has a value, and it's got a value everywhere. It, and the the the, the Higgs is called us. It's got. It doesn't have a direction. It just has a value. It's got some value here and some value there. Uh, if you excite an electromagnetic field, you'll create a photon, and we all happily see that it's coming down to us now. The equivalent for the Higgs field is if you excite the Higgs field, you will create a Higgs boson, a particle. And that's what's been detected. It's the excitation of the Higgs field, which in turn requires a lot of energy. That's why you have to fire the protons in. So the idea is you smack the protons together. Those protons then, that energy in, the, in that regime can be enough to excite the Higgs field, which is permeating the whole universe. In that regime, excites the Higgs field, and then that can generate a Higgs particle, which will then decay almost instantaneously and it's got these, because it can couple to all the particles in the universe, it can decay in a whole set of ways, different ways. Some of them via creating photons, others by creating uh, the W and Z particles, others by decaying into quarks. So, and those are the channels. And the, the ones that they've been able to get the best statistics on are the ones where the Higgs decays into the two photons and the ones where the Higgs decays into the four leptons. We lose the page number. <coughs> and we conclude by saying That's that we have observed a new punch line. boson with a mass of 125.3 plus or minus 0.6 GeV at 4.9 standard deviations. Thank you. We saved the punchline to the last slide. <laughs> Ed, when we excite the electromagnetic field and get a photon, 
that photon seems to last a very long time. It can travel across the universe. Mm. How come when we excite the Higgs field and create a Higgs boson, this thing vanishes so quickly? So a photon is massless. And it's, so it's got, um, it, it, it doesn't have anything to decay into. The Higgs particle is a very, very massive particle. It's got a mass of about 100, and, if, if this is correct today, a mass of about 133 times that of a proton, which we also think of a fairly, as a massive particle. And because it can, it can interact with so many other particles with lower masses, it can decay. So it, it doesn't want to hang around. It's this massive thing that's just feeling a bit, you know, it, it, it can't move very far and so it just decays down. So, good morning. Uh, Atlas is very pleased to present here today uh, updated results on standard model X searches based on uh, status of uh, Atlas X searches until this morning. So this will last five minutes. So they seem to be having a best fit value of about 126.5 GeV. So I'm not quite sure. That's slightly different so far from CMS. So the key v number that they've been giving is the, what they think of the mass of this particle is. They're not calling it the Higgs. They've been getting the mass of it and the mass they've given in terms of a unit called giga electron volts. An electron volt is an energy, it's the energy required to lift an electron through one volt. In terms of joules, that's about 10 to the minus 19 joules, it's very small. A giga electron volt is a billion electron volts. The mass scale that they're finding is about 125 GeV, that's the, uh, the mass that was being given by CMS, and about 126 GeV being given by um, Atlas. So something to compare it with. Uh, a proton, which makes up you and I, has a mass of around 1 GeV. So this is, a, in back fact, just a bit less than a GeV. So this is about 130 times the mass of a proton. So it's, it's effectively, you know, if you think of an atom, an atom, a heavy atom, which is made up of, say, 50 protons and 50 neutrons or something, this is about that mass, right? It's, it's, that's one particle. I think we all have to be proud of these results. Thank you, mate. He was wiping his... Yeah, we'll be Yeah. Is that guy going to get a Nobel Prize now? I think he is. That's Peter Higgs. I think he was crying. That must be quite an emotional time for him. So on a teaching basis, it's fantastic. You'll be able to now say this is the complete picture of the standard model. However, let me put in one caveat here, which is what they haven't been able to demonstrate, and which is why I think they're not yet saying this is the standard model Higgs, is, is it the standard model Higgs? Or is it actually uh, a more complicated object that maybe, that is, this part of it looks like the standard model, but there are other bits that might yet show up. As a layman, I would now say, I think we have it. Do you agree? <laughs> That's the Director General of CERN saying that. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs>